Yeah, it's your boy Ty West back with that War on Far Rock series, man. First and foremost, man, I want to give all y'all a big shout out, man, for supporting the page, man. But I'm going to need everybody to come subscribe, like, and comment. You already know, man, I'm putting out that dope content, man. I do this because I do it because I like doing this shit, man. But yeah, though, I'm about to take y'all, man. Y'all already know, man, I'm Esmere Projects. Yeah, I'm being biased. Fuck you, niggas. Um, 2001, man, right? The Esmere Indictments. Motherfuckers had police living in an apartment and the rent office double building. I'll never forget this shit. They had police living in a motherfucking building in an apartment. It was a female. She was acting like one of the dudes was a brother and one was a boyfriend. And this shit was just one of the spookiest situations in motherfucking Rockaway history, man. If you see some of the pictures, man, shout out to Blink. He got jammed up with that. My man came. Crazy, that's the big, that's the little bro right there, man. Kane, Uncle Jay, you already know, man. This, this, this people that got jammed up in that shit, man, and a lot of other people that I didn't drop on this because I wanted to make this a little brief picture, man. It was 54 co defendants, man. They had dudes like MC. How the fuck MC catch a cell? When I mean everybody, everybody. Hold on. But yeah, though, this shit was real spooky, man. And around that time, man, we went on a run to another town. And I seen these motherfuckers in the town that I went to, Mikey and Shawu, Viking. Whoa, so that shit was crazy, man. We had to get the fuck up out of there. Like I said, they took down the whole hood, man. Shout out to Blink. White boy, I ran white boy a cell, two cells from the motherfuckers. That's how crazy it was. Kane put me on to the niggas. I met the niggas through Kane. So the 2001 indictments was some real spooky shit. I'm not going to sit here and say that nobody told on nobody, man. Everybody was just trying to get that money, and these niggas were spending money. I'm talking about we should have knew these niggas was police because you go up to the crib, nigga, a nigga that was in the projects that was outside that hustle was in there and they was buying a couple hundred dollars off everybody. Shout out my nigga Mario, though, man. When, when niggas went on a run, man, that's who we was with. Well, Mario, he be home in a few, though. But hell yeah, that 2001 indictment was a crazy motherfucker, man. I went to prison. I'm up in jail with Tari from Vietnam, and my co-defendant was father, father from the hood, was one of my co defendants I'm with him. So, you know, them niggas teaching me how to bed, my first bed. This shit was just crazy, man. Well, yeah, it was police living in Edgemere Projects. We was all serving them. And shout out and big rest in peace to Uncle D. Uncle D told me that them niggas was police, and I got the fuck up out of there. I swear to God, Uncle D, man, his got me. God rest his soul, man, told me them motherfuckers that live in that apartment ties police. And I left the hood that night. And the motherfuckers caught me about two years later. So everybody was up doing their biz. We was up doing what we was doing. Like, you know, niggas was still scared, moving around scary. And that shit was just spooky, man. That whole 2001 indictment, man. Rest in peace, people like Lodi. That was jammed up with that, man. It's your boy Ty West, 12 Talk Sports slash G's TV, man. Y'all know I do this shit like I do it because I do it for TV. Ow.